Hey y'all, it's Tuesday. Guess what? I got my hair dyed. You can see it. It's got copper stripes in it, and there's like some black going on underneath there. And yeah, that was a lot of fun. It took like two hours. Two hours to do at Walmart. Yeah, it's fun. I just want to do something different. So, yep, got it kind of punk style. I don't know. So actually yesterday we took Katie back to Northern. We left at about one and it takes a good two and a half hours um, to drive north and um, yeah and so for dinner we went to Steak and Shake and um, of course I got uh, the double steak burger and fries. <laughs> Not very healthy I know but still. Um, Anyway, there was a ketchup bottle, and, um, it was Heinz 57, it had, like, 57 on it, and then it wasn't coming out, the thing was full, and it wasn't coming out, no matter how much my dad and I were shaking it, and then the waitress came over, and, um, she was like, on the side, there's, like, these 57s on the side, and you're supposed to hit it out the 57s, and I was like, oh, that is so cool, it amused me so much, I thought it was, it was awesome, because, um, and she, I guess she heard it on some food channel to hit it on the 57. So next time you can't get a uh, ketchup bottle to get the ketchup out, one of those hard glass ones at Steak and Shake, hit the 57s. It works. It really does. So today was the inauguration of our new president, Barack Obama. And it was amazing. It was so moving how everyone in the um, audience and they were all just, like, so focused on him, and they were, you know, there's some tears and all that stuff. It was, it was pretty amazing. Um, it's amazing how far our country has come. He was saying in a speech that only 60 years ago, there was, um, segregation and stuff like that. I, I could not, it, because being young and everything, it's hard to imagine that that, was actually not very long ago. It, it surprised me. I was talking to my mom a little bit about it, and it, it's amazing. Another thing that's kind of ironic is because Obama is actually from Illinois. Of course, he was born in Hawaii, but um, he was a senator in Illinois. And, um, of course, Illinois is known as the land of Lincoln, because uh, Lincoln was from Illinois as well. And I just find it very, very ironic. Like, Lincoln was the one who was fighting against slavery and fighting for everyone to be equal. Um, and, and now his fights have brought, um, have brought a black president into the United States. So... <laughs> If people were teasing on the news and stuff that um, Obama, all he needed is top hat going on, and he would look a lot like um, President Lincoln. So Nag challenged me. So I, she said I could pick. So I picked um, on how to change a tire and um, bought myself some chocolate. Um, Okay, so, I am going to show you how to change a tire. Well, I, I would show you with a real car, but, um, yeah, my dad's not home right now, and, yeah, anyway, so I'm going to show you <laughs> with my brother's, uh, very dusty, dirty, uh, Kleenex truck thing my mom made from a long time ago. So, we're going to pretend that this tire is flat, it's flat. It went flat. Okay, so, um, first what you do is that you would park or make sure that the, the ground is stable. You're not, like, on a hill and gonna, like, roll down or something. And so, look, okay, ground, it's stable, yay, yay. And then <clears throat> what you do, you would put your car in park, obviously, and make sure your emergency brakes are on, so... Nothing rolls off by accident and you crush yourself and something horrible like that. And then 
you'd get your spare tire and you would get your jack and and then you uh, then okay I'll show you the car so you have your spare tire pretend there's a spare tire here <laughs> and you have your jack you would place your jack on um, the metal part of the frame somewhere where it's not gonna slip or something we'll remove the hubcap so let's say this is the hubcap we removed it to visible see it's visible yay okay so we <laughs> remove the hubcap <laughs> and then we are going to loosen the nuts um you would do it counterclockwise okay so there's a clock zoom up to the clock counterclockwise we going the other way not the way of the clock now that we are loosening the nuts, you're only going to loosen them about halfway. So let's loosen them. We're loosening them. <laughs> and then you would crank your car up. Truck, in this case. Um, only enough so it's like lifting off. and Yeah. Uh, and then you would remove the nuts the rest of the way. And then you would take the tire off, put the new one on, <laughs> and then you would align the rim. Make sure it's all even. Yay, it's even. And then you start to put the nuts back in. And, and when you and when you put them in, um, like don't fully screw one all the way in, and then go on to the other one and full. What you would do is you would um. Do one full turn on one, and you would go to star pa star pattern. So I start down here, go to that one, then you would go up to one up there, then one down here, then one up there, then one over here, and then one over there, and you would keep going, doing one full turn until it's al almost all the way on. Then you would lower your car back down, so it's back on the ground, and the weights, well, not all the way back down, but just so the weights starting to go on, but not all the way. You would finish finish um screwing them in and then uh you would put your hubcap on and then you would put your bad tire in the back and then you're good to go so that's how you change tire mmm chocolate it's so good it's basically it's my best friend not really. <laughs> it's good. My challenge for this week is for one of you to act out a scene from your favorite book. You have to have at least two characters in the scene, and you can play all the characters in the scene, like change clothes, you know, like you're acting with yourself, or um, have someone else help you act it out as well. What you, whatever floats your boat. So. I could not find dice either, so I have a deal or no deal game, and there are these cases. There's one, uh, three I took out myself, five, four. So it's that four. <laughs> okay, so here are the cases. Who do you think has the million in it? Well, let's see. We'll start with one. One. We're gonna open case number one. Five dollars. Not it. Three. Seventy-five thousand. Not it. Four. You're the lucky winner. Kathleen, you get to act out. Have fun acting out a scene from your favorite book. So, have fun with that. So that's about it for my video for today. And I'll see the rest of you girls later this week. And I'll see you tomorrow, Sammy. Ta-ta!